Welcome everyone, I'm Lore, and this is That Nerdy Channel. Today, I'm going to be going back to the Stanley Parable. Um, let's look around. Touch things. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Not what the monitor for. Now, the last time I played, I um. What did he do last time? I just like did the opposite of pretty much everything he told me to. Um, I haven't decided how I'm gonna play it this time. Or turning off monitors. And I don't know how to get any specific Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Um, I'm sorry, like I was saying, um, I don't really know any of the endings for this game, so I I'm not really going for anything. I'm just walking around doing stuff. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't know, should I do what he says this time? You know, last time I ignored everything, so I think this time I'll at least... I'll take the door on the left. We'll start with that, at least. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Tips for Feeling not a wave fired. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Using slides. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, anything interesting here? Push for funding, learn the new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the brown closet. Broom Get Chris out of the broom closet. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to sit here and read all these. Let's just move on. Ooh, can, is the door open? I can't know. It never lets me go back in this game. That's okay. Broom closet. Hello? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to close the door. Maybe I want to live here now. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be Closet. here. Nope, this is my home now. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Let's stare at the light bulb. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Broom you do closet. realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe, when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Home, oh, irritating the narrator, that's always fun. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. 
He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom I'm closet, dead. explored it a bit, and were just about to I leave did not notice because that. there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right, to the magic of editing, I've been in this closet about 10 minutes to see if anything else would happen. Nothing, so I will continue on. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Eh, oh well. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, we'll do what he says. For now. I want to get in the bathroom. I want to see what the executive bathroom looks like. I guess they're not gonna let me. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I'll get to it when I finish playing with everything else. Say 2845. Keypad, keypad. Two. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Eight. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, Four. since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, eight, eight, Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I don't have a choice at this point. Oh, nope. I want to play the piano. I want to play the piano. All right, all right. I'll move on. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? 
when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa, it's dark. I this was a light switch anywhere. Light. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Mind Control Facility. Escape. Mind Control Facility. Hmm. 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 Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end uh -oh. to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Uh oh. Oh crap. Here we go. Well, ah. Wait. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh, that's not what happened now. Boxes. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Button sound. Oh. Oh, where the hell am I? The two doors. Oh, it's the... The map of the game. The office layout. Corridor. We read this one, so it's the two doors. Office computers. Ah! If you saw my first video on the Stanley Parables, I was. Stanley Parable. I was, um looking through a window at an angle and I saw a computer and I could have sworn it looked like that computer had solitaire on it. Well, that's it. It had solitaire on it. This is the same thing. Credits. I'm not going to sit around and read the credits. Ooh, which way do I go? Let's go this way. office maintenance room large words let's see what the game is <laughs> the point of the Stanley Parable HD remakes is to lose 
The point of the Stanley Parrot is to win. I'm going crazy. Maybe it isn't the same image. Wait, I'm going crazy. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? More endings. Fewer endings. More narrations. More narrators, sorry. Fewer narrators. More Stanley. Less Stanley. These are screenshots of Stanley Parable HD Remix. The lounge. Apartment timer. In the previous version of choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Huh. Of course, I haven't found that ending yet, so. Cargo lift. What is this? Zending model? And too many. <sighs> Excuse me. Zending levers. Oh. It won't let me play with them. It's a big screen there. That looks like it might take me out of here. Monitor room elevator. Freedom ending. Uh. Countdown desk. What's that? Game design mock up. This is the level that William. The level designer sent Davy, the writer, as a kind of addition piece. This I'm sorry to design the full game, though much of the environment has changed. The basic layout from the mock-up is still in the game. Is that the screen I was going towards before? And I turned around? What's over there? I want to see what's over there. Not sure how to get there. Office clock. Huh. Seems to be an area that I can't get to. War zone? What? Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become <clears throat> sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is which was not our intention. Huh. Hmm. Oh there's the
After the second trailer, we sent. Oh, we asked people to email now. Alright, where's that room? I think it's over here to the left. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. It's an on and off switch. For the game, I guess. No? Let's see what happens. Can you okay. see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oh well. The hell? Is it loading? The loading thing never came up. Oh. He's dead and I actually have to restart the game. Alright. Begin game again. So, I had made this video longer, but it went on a little too long. So I was forced to, to cut it. Um, it was just too much to post. So I'm going to post, obviously, what you've just seen now. And... Next time, I'm going to post the rest of what I uh, recorded this time. So, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.